Well, here we are again, folks, living in a van in style, part 10. And today, I went out and I bought myself a brand new generator. I went and got my, I didn't want the Honda. I thought the Honda was okay, but I decided I was going to go with the Yamaha. I like it better. And it's, uh, it's right here in my box, my generator box, right there. My uh, really nice uh, Yamaha generator two gallons of gas that baby will run for nine and a half hours on a gallon of fuel pretty nice huh here's a here's a look at my uh, my rack on the back of my van here that's about what she looks like here's a good shot of my van right here down the side one of my security cameras that guy up there is my three mile internet it reaches for three mile if you want if you want one of those it's amped wireless here I'll get a good close-up of of it for you right there amped wireless and over here is my uh, that is my my satellite uh, antenna now that's that works a little bit better for me the reason why I like that is because I have a uh, scrambler so it scrambles people's signals and gives them to me every two hours it kicks a signal and then it puts me onto a new signal so free satellite TV all day long on a nice uh, I went from a 19 inch to a 22 inch flat screen it fit nicely up there don't really need to do that but I figured what the hell it's the holidays I spent a little money on myself I can afford to but I paid cash for everything so it's nice uh, love the new generator and boy is it quiet that thing you can't even hear it run and it, it, I, it's got it plugged into my charging system in the van. You can run your air conditioning system. Uh, 8,000. I, I recommend just an 8,000 BTU air conditioner. Uh, plug in indoor air conditioner for the summertime. Today is a nice 50 degrees outside. As you see behind me here, these apartment complexes. I watch them build those. Uh, 1,200 to 1,750 a month. Yeah, screw them. I'm not going to pay that kind of shit money. See that? They got a little security gate right there. Yeah, well, that's another $100 to park your car. And another shot of my van over here down the side. Uh, we got an RV, a couple RVs over there. We got another one over there. Uh, I choose not to do the RV thing. Not only that, it's an expense. The van, no expense when it comes to the van life. So I love my van. It saved me tons. But while I was at the motorcycle shop today, buying that Yamaha generator, I was looking at the motorcycles they had there. Kind of cool because uh, I looked at the bikes and I thought to myself, wow, I found one that, man, I'd love to have. Eight grand. And I could have just threw the $8,000 out right there on the spot and said, here you go, and rode that thing away. So it's kind of nice to know that, especially for people that want to do van life for part time pretty cool because you could rent go live in a move out move out of your place uh, if it's a lease whatever go live in a van for four to eight months get yourself that brand new whatever it is you want so badly pay cash and then go back to your apartment or house living however you want to live that's for the part-time dwellers me I'm a full-time dweller so right now it's all about cash 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 and worry about it later because the cash is there to do whatever the hell I want later so but I had to have that generator and I love it stay away from the powerhouse generators I had a powerhouse generator they're about 700 750 don't get one I had three of them and the reason why I say three of them I kept bringing them back because that's how much of a pile of junk they were excuse me for talking fast but I'm trying to get as much in this video as I can in a short amount of time and <clears throat> it's nice it's a nice lifestyle oh by the way the windows I gotta explain my new tinted windows too I did this a while back forgot to talk about this but these windows right here in this van they're solid black zero percent tint you know why their solar powers panels those babies have got wires attached to them they lead right to your battery or your charging system within your van and all they do is charge them all day long just solar power tent check it out get it put it on your van you'd lo you'll love it so you don't have to go buy solar power panels or anything if you don't want to mine way up on top up here there's a solar panel that reaches all the way across it gives me 60 amps my life in this is great but the generator what I love about the generator 
is at nighttime I like to use it a lot. Uh, if you want to run your electric heating system, go ahead, run some, how about an electric blanket or something? Nice, huh? Yeah, thousand dollars is a lot of money for a generator, but let me tell you what, three year warranty, la dee da dee da. You got yourself some nice stuff and, and, and it keeps your charging system always up. Uh, if people don't want to do solar power because solar power can run up to the cost of that generator a gallon of fuel in that generator right there is only gonna uh, uh, cost you nine and a half hours that's a lot of time on a generator and you're not gonna run it that long anyway especially if you run propane heat now back up propane by the way speaking of propane my system is right here this is my little uh, propane system it's a three gallon tank and I only use it intermittently so for cold weather survival or whatever you got your propane three gallons can last a long time especially on a mr. buddy and that's my heating system for propane is a mr. buddy one of the dual burner mr. buddies that's what I use uh, and I use I hook that tank up to it and then the hose of course Everything is right there, as you can see back behind by the generator. I got my generator box. And you can pick up the cargo rack over at uh, Harbor Freight for $40. Get the ATV one because they're the ones that got the uh, extended elbow on them to keep you from, you know, hitting the ground or whatever. But uh, nice, huh? Uh, over here at the. Uh, Fred Myers area here kind of hanging out but look at all this and imagine all the free Wi-Fi I'm getting today quite a bit huh yeah so anywhere I like uh, I can stretch my legs in the store here we got some more apartment complexes back behind me here another van over there that's a nice Sprinter by the way I'd love to have the Sprinter but they want way too much money for them but these kind of vans are what you want right here those are what you want that's the van get yourself one of those high tops uh, the low tops are a little bit cramped inside high top you want to go you can have your TV up on top you can use the factory TV get rid of it uh, but as you're starting to put your money away you're gonna start thinking God you know what the money's looking good but I need to spend a little bit of it to, to from entertainment go ahead go ahead you got the, as long as you got the job keep the money coming in to replace what you spend because the rent's gonna, you know, if you're renting, you can never replace that money. But uh, when you're when you're living in a van, you can replace that money. So whatever you go buy, you can replace it. And that's what I love about living in a van. Any money I spend, the next check replaces what I've spent. Same with the generator. I'll have that baby paid for in a week and a half wages. A week and a half wages just bought that van. I mean bought that generator so big deal I have the money back what the hell and then uh, don't spend some money for a while but generators are really important to have this guy over here I can I can hear his generator running but RVs no way not for me man you get run off too much like these guys here they can only stay here for the day after that they gotta leave me I'm here all night long I've been here for two nights already I got four days off my van's been here for two nights already and I got two more to go but I'm probably gonna move up and look at some different scenery but yeah I just had to had to uh, you know check in with you guys and uh, and in, in, in part 10 here, you know, to show off the generator a little bit. And a lot of you guys got questions and stuff about other things. But, uh, yeah, the tint, the solar-powered tint uh, for your van, lots of juice. And I've got uh, all these windows right here. Tint, 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 solar. This is just regular tint, uh, as you can, you can tell, uh, because, you know by the law you know you know I'm no freaking cop coming over saying hey your windows are too dark but uh, this is legal this is only 20% so I'm legal here in, in this state but uh, uh, as as for the way things are going for me uh, it's it's going pretty good uh, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day uh, I'm gonna get some movies uh, and uh, probably run the generator throughout the day you know depending if you're just running on a battery one 12 volt battery backup system uh, then run the run the generator 
you know, a couple hours out of the day. Hell, you can you'll be able to enjoy two or three DVD movies or whatever else, and uh, your refrigerator's running inside. Go in the store, buy yourself a microwave TV dinner, throw it in the microwave, enjoy yourself, whatever. But isn't it nice? Now, I don't have to work. The nice thing about the generator, I don't have to work the auxiliary battery so hard. I can be easier on them now. And so I'll use the generator for if I want to fire the microwave up, I'll use the generator. If, uh, but but my, my refrigerator is always on solar power, so I never have to worry about what the refrigerator is doing. But when it comes to microwaves and, and air conditioners and stuff like that, use the generator. You're, you burn up your battery pack up no matter how good it is quick. So, but anyway, uh, I thought I'd check in with you and show you a little bit about my, about my van and, uh, and my antenna and my, and my wireless uh, internet and uh, all that. So I don't have to pay for any of that. It's just always there uh, except for my cell phone services. But as for streamlining, it's always there people out do Netflix and you can do Netflix for free too you know uh, if you know how to do it but uh, alrighty well again we'll see you in episode 11 of living in a van and style part 11 we'll, we'll do that next uh, and uh, you guys have a good one